A python has needle sharp teeth, which it uses to grab hold of prey up to three times bigger than itself. Once anchored, it throws its coils around its victim, squeezing it to death. Preying on such large animals seems to suggest it'll have a mighty bite. Many, many hours into our search, we finally find a python. Okay, I've got it. I've got the snake. Thing is so strong. I've right, always, oh, always wanted to measure bite force of these guys. Okay, can you bring me the bite force meter? Maybe down on the ground would be better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there we go. This is the first time I've measured the bite strength of a python. Bite of 10 pounds, 10 pounds of force. There you go, there you go, 32, 32 pounds. Now that's a bite. Just 32 pounds of force. This is a huge snake, yet it's given me the lowest bite of any animal I've tested so far. It's not the power behind these jaws, it's those hundred recurved needle sharp teeth. The python's teeth curl inward, ensuring that what goes in can't get out. And if that gets a hold of you, then you gotta worry about these coils. All of their force comes from these massive muscles in their body. They just use the head as an anchoring point. It'll strike, then it'll throw the coils around. And then they swallow their prey whole. Pythons have incredibly flexible skulls. In order to ingest prey that can be three times wider than they are, the mouth opens 180 degrees, and the lower jaw even comes apart, making its mouth even wider.